With Europe struggling during the Crusades, they began to look for help. Rumours then circled of a mysterious and powerful king from the east. This king, known as Prester John, was the ruler of a rich and powerful Christian country. Today we will learn about Prester John, who he was, and was he real or just a myth. This is Knowledge Voyage. But before this video starts, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get all of our weekly videos about history. Thank you. During the Crusades, the Christians and Muslims fought for control of the Holy Land, and we have several videos on this which you may find interesting. During the Crusades, the Christians wondered if they could enlist support against the Muslims. But as the search was ongoing, a mysterious letter arrived at the court of the Byzantine Emperor in Constantinople, with an offer that could have changed history. This letter claimed to be from a ruler named Prester John, who claimed to be a descendant of the Magi wise men who had visited Jesus as a baby. The letter described his kingdom as laying far in the east, being fabulously rich, governed by priests, and being the location of the tomb of one of the apostles. It was also said to be a place of great justice and courage, and boasted of previous military victories over Muslims, a major selling point to a Europe at war with the Muslims. The letter attracted so much attention in Europe that in 1177, the Pope sent a reply to Prester John, describing him as, quote, the illustrious and magnificent king of the Indies and a beloved son of Christ. The letter is said to have offered an alliance and requested help in the Crusades, but the letter never received a reply, and it remains a mystery to this day who may have written the original claiming to be Prester John. But is it possible that such a leader could have existed, even if a letter claiming to be from him was a forgery? And there are several theories. The first is that Prester John may have been Ethiopian. Ethiopia was an ancient Christian kingdom, and its brand of Christianity and imperial government would have made it sound like the exotic and ancient world described as Prester John's land. This is especially true given merchants and explorers may have exaggerated details of Ethiopia, a country Europeans in the Middle Ages knew very little about. Interestingly, Zan is a royal title in Ethiopia, and it is possible that John is a corruption of Zan, so Prester Zan became Prester John. The second theory is that Prester John is a reference to Nestorian Christians in Central Asia. Nestorians were once a fairly significantly sized Christian community in the Empire of the Mongols. They lay to the east, and the Mongol Empire was extremely wealthy. The Mongols had also previously beaten Muslim armies in battle, which may have been the origin of Prester John's boast of victory over them in the past. However, it would be tricky to say who could have been mistaken for Prester John in this scenario, unless Khan, a Mongol ruler, was distorted to John in the retelling, so Prester Khan became Prester John. The final theory is that the Indian Christians of the Malabar coast and Goa were Prester John's land. They were Christian, lay in the east, and are reported to host the tomb of the Apostle Thomas, the famous Doubting Thomas. India was sufficiently exotic and strange to Europeans in the Middle Ages that it too could have been exaggerated in retelling by the very small number of European merchants who had actually been there. But whoever Prester John was, if indeed he or his kingdom ever existed at all, was never found. Medieval Christians, with a poor grasp of the world outside of Europe, few explorers and a desperate need to win the Crusades, can perhaps be forgiven for this error, and possible distortions in countries and rulers that vaguely sounded like the one described in Prester John's letter. In the centuries after the Crusades, European explorers penetrated deep into every continent and developed a more detailed view of the world, but never once found Prester John or a kingdom remotely like the one described in the letter. It appears that the letter was nothing more than a forgery, but had there really been a powerful Christian king in the East, who knows how the Crusades may have turned out. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, thank you.